not had many touches in the opening six and a half minutes but that was his first with any prominence and he's played it back to his keeper early run down the left by Hamilton that triggers a pass from deep Hamilton's in the clear and he delicately shoots it's deflected by Longbike at Nichols who saves and Nichols then retrieves it there was a very important touch by a town player and maybe Hamilton was a bit tentative in his shot actually I think he was yeah Sorensen did actually read the run of Hamilton but it was just a second too late couldn't get back to him Hamilton showed real pace there running with the ball he didn't put his foot through it looked like it was more of a cross than anything else so Although Town are on the road for the next two, Reading away on Saturday, lunchtime kickoff, this time next week, Birmingham away. Headley finds Wiles on the run, nice double jink by him, and he's in the box. Right footed shot, low, no power. Keeper Tyra's behind it. Nice run by Wiles. Nice run, yeah, actually. Was part of the move earlier on as well. Got himself in a, a good position after finding Headley on that left hand side. Just couldn't get the strike. On the ball, Apter, dangerous. Stumbles, he's pushed from the back by Wiles. Referee said play on. But then a back pass in towards Longbike is intercepted. Wiles the culprit. Here's Joseph, and he shoots high across the face of goal. Yeah, from Wiles there. Does some good work in coming back and nicking the ball of Apter. But then his little one two goes straight to Blackpool, bypasses all his teammates, and the through on goal. I'm not sure if Nichols gets a touch. Or anything there, I don't know. I think it's a throw in to Huddersfield Town, but that was a, a danger moment brought on by themselves. They've certainly got some players who are troublesome from a defensive header. Then it's up towards the edge of the box. Tom Lee's miscues his volley clearance, but at least he's got something on it. CJ Hamilton hurdles away from Herbie Kane. Kane bites back. Hamilton again crosses far post. Joseph heads in for the opening goal. 1-0 Blackpool, CJ Hamilton has caused Huddersfield Town problems already, once before in the opening half hour, he got the better of Herbie Kane, lovely cross, and Joseph did what good centre forwards do, he beat the defender and powered in the opening goal, it's Huddersfield Town nil, Blackpool 1. Yeah, great work from Hamilton, Herbie Kane won't be happy, he thought he'd got enough on it, he got the challenge in there, he got his body in the way. But CJ Hamilton gets that little bit of luck and drives forward. You've got to say it's a wonderful ball into the six-yard box. But Town have got to defend better than that. Why CJ Hamilton all by himself with Herbie Kane on the edge of the 18-yard box? There's the questions to be asked. Sorensen dwelling on the ball again, gets caught on it. And next thing you know, the ball's in the back of the net. Sorensen's not having a great time when he's making little mistakes doing it because they're ending up with real chances for the opposition and when someone chests the ball in the back of the net inside the six yard box it's not a great look Karama just couldn't stretch and keep the ball under control Headley with space down the left hand side goes between two Blackpool players squares it shot by Karama is blocked edge of the box a missed control by Kane sees the chance go begging and that's the nearest Huddersfield Town I've come. Blackpool got away with that one. Headley making the inroads. Yeah, brilliant from Headley. I'd like to just actually smash it at the goalkeeper there from that position. Can't keep it in play. And there's a little hole in midfield. Morgan uh, overhits the pass to Ballard, but it rebounds to Apta. Apta pokes it for Joseph. Joseph is blocked by a brilliant cover tackle by Brody Spencer. And maybe Joseph should have pulled the trigger first time. Corner. Yeah, no, no, no. Or is he it? must have rebounded off. That's the best bit of work from Spencer. Oh, I may have even been an offside, I'm offside not quite sure. Headley and Lonvite. Lonvite pings it forward, first time pass by Wiles, too much on it. Hodge slips, all oh, the balls run through for Ballard. He plays it in behind. Hamilton will get a rebound off the tackle and he scores. Though Nichols got something on it. CJ Hamilton, one of Blackpool's best players, has driven Blackpool into a 2 0 lead with a breakaway in the dying seconds of the first half. And Tanner in trouble again at home. Yeah, they are, and all their own fault, their own downfall. So ben Wiles there with a, a stray pass. Still should have been dealt with before Hamilton puts in the back of the net. There was a chance to put a challenge on him. It doesn't happen. And Lee Nichols left all exposed again. And I can't honestly say that Blackpool don't deserve their lead, and maybe even two as well. They've looked sharper, more organised, done more running. As to what his team to do before this game started. And yeah. More than uh, more than good for their 2-0. So many opportunities to clear it, though. It's crazy how easy it was to just go through. Nothing. Town are doing today is working 
at all, individually or as a team. Big hugs amongst the Blackpool fans. Our way to our right as they chant the name of the former Halifax Town player, CJ. Town not commanding possession at all in the opening phase of the second half. Hamilton down the left, the cross by Coulson, headed away by Lees, shot by Gabriel into the side netting. That could have killed it off. It could have killed off, and I think a lot of people thought it did, especially on the far side of the stadium. Town just can't get the ball back. Every ricochet, every time it goes loose. A Blackpool player is there to pick it up and do something with it, with a bit of movement. Nice little short, tight pass. Town have not started this second half very well. At Karoma shunts a pass short for Ladapo. He holds off his opponent, Casey, does well. Wells is crossed to the far post. Coulson heads it away. Shot by Ladapo is blocked on the edge of the six-yard box by Casey. Come. That's better from Town. Decent ball in from Wiles on that far side. Ladapo just looking a bit sharper now around the 18-yard box. Brings a teammate into play, Wiles in the first instance, then gets himself into the 18-yard box and he's there for the strike. Unfortunately, some decent defending. And it's now with Huddersfield Town's blue and white stripes coming into Blackpool territory. Nice swerve, change of direction by Joe Hodge on the ball. He attacks the box, squares it for Wiles, who can't sort his feet out. Back comes Morgan, makes the tackle. Marshall shot, great save, Tyra. Yeah, great Finger save. tipping it over the bar. Yeah, just took a little deflection, I think, on its way as well. But he just gets a little tip over the bar, and that's a wonderful save by the Blackpool goalkeeper. Marshall didn't waste any time, and that speed of thought is as much as anything what Huddersfield Town need if they're going to come back yeah. from this 2-0 deficit. We watch on as Brody Spencer gets the throwing back. Good header, goalwards by Radulovic after his cross. Great save, Tyra again. Yeah. His second of the second half. Really good save and ball in the air. There you go, with a bit of height in it. And Town get a chance on goal again. And you've got to say it's a decent save from the keeper. It's quite close to him, but what he's done is he's backed off, he's moved his feet. He's got himself set, ready for any, anything that comes towards him. Tyra's clearance from the free kick is the last act of the match, which has drawn the same reaction from the Huddersfield Town home supporters at the final whistle for a second consecutive home appearance. Boos ring around the home sections. They've seen their team be comfortably beaten tonight by a resurgent Blackpool we have to call them now